everyone, Donnie here. Um, I'm moving through a kind of a low aspen, low willow grove at the little moment. And what I'm looking for is a type of fungus that grows on the aspen trees known as aspen conch. And the reason why I'm looking for this is I just stayed in one of my little rock shelters, cave shelters last night. And I'm looking to move camps to some better fishing grounds. But before I go, I want to resource this, this uh, material called aspen conch so I don't have to make a fire when I get to my new place. It's going to allow me to carry fire from my current location to my next location. And with the injury I kind of sustained in my hand, it's just a little enabler that's going to make my day a little bit easier. So I'm going to search for some of these aspen trees, and when I find it, I'll point it out to you guys. Now, aspen trees are very unique, especially when you're in the high country. Um, the aspens are all interconnected through their roots, and when one gets some sort of disease, the rest are going to wind up getting it. And for me, these younger aspens have some of those initial funguses, and I can't identify them all. I'm not going to kid you. But I'm not looking at these young guys. I'm looking at the much bigger ones. See those guys over there? Those are the ones I'm looking for. Because they usually yield the aspen cough. The bigger, older aspen trees have the conch. So I'm still kind of looking. Uh, there's lots of good trees around here that, that should have it. I saw some smaller ones. Uh, a tree not too long ago, but they were up a little bit high. This guy over here looks like the good choice. Alright, so I got one right here. Let me show you. Alright, so this is the aspen conch, and what it is, it's, it's a fungus. It looks like a horseshoe fungus, but it's, it's not. This is very specific and only organic to the aspen tree. And as you look up this tree, you can see I got one here, I got one here, and I got them all the way up. And this is what I've been looking for. To get this off, usually you can just pop them right off, and that's the little piece I'm looking for. All right, I'm going to bring this back to my cave, light it up before I get ready to move out. Now the idea behind the conch is for me to uh, resource it from one of these aspen trees, light it on fire at my current and existing camp, and then carry it with me all the way uh, to my future camp. It just eliminates me having to go through the process of doing another hand drill or bow drill or anything in that capacity. It's just a quick fire resource, and whenever I get it, whenever I find it, I always, I always like to use this method. It saves a lot of time, a lot of effort. So let's go back to my cave. Back in the cave. Alrighty. So let me show you exactly how this how this works. Two off. Here's a split stick. So, what I want to do is find a stick that's uh, already split. This is kind of one that I've I've used in this cave before. So here's a little split stick, and then I'm going to want to heat up a piece of this conch, and I'm going to want to carry it just in this split stick like this. So it gives me a couple opportunities to kind of have a little torch, and then also if I have to stop at any point, I can set it right into the ground. But first, I got to shorten it up just a bit so use this guy good stone blade and using a you know, stone blade sometimes you don't have to cut all the way through a branch you can score all the way around it and then wherever that score is you just Give it a pop. So what this is going to do, it's going to give me this guy. Pull that bark off. This piece of willow and here. Save these. There. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to take this small piece of aspen conch and I'm going to uh, get it to start burning. So I can use this little piece of willow right here, find that spot where this guy's going to sit in there nicely, just like that. And before I'll go out on my, uh, my next leg of my trip, I'll just wrap this around just to reinforce that split. Just make sure she's nice and tight and it's not going to pop on me. Anyway, let me put those guys over there. I'm just going to find a little bit of a flame and get them to start burning. It doesn't take too long. Just got to find the right flame. See that little white ring? That's a spot that's going to be smoldering. That's the uh, how you know this guy's ready to start moving around and, and transport from one uh, shelter to the next. Perfect. So you can see the white. That white lets me know that this guy is definitely smoldering. And the key is to just let the air hit it. Is also a great little tool for smudging out a cave, um, even smudging out a, um, a shelter. But you know, bottom line, it gives me the opportunity to carry fire from point A to point B. It gives me the opportunity to preserve a fire because even if I had a small fire like this and went out hunting all day and, and foraging, and came back, I could have nothing but um, just ash in there with no heat. This even allows me to stick this guy, you know. Oop close to a fire, put it between my fork, stick it in there just like this. As long as the wind's hitting it or there's a gentle breeze, uh, it's going to keep smoldering. I can poke a hole through it, carry it on like a lanyard. Um, it's just going to give me the opportunity, again, to just carry fire from one spot to another and uh, really just make my day a little bit easier. support that little Y and also a granny knot perfect yeah that's it now the next step I figure I'll just show you here because I don't know how much battery life I have. Use a little bit of my bedding. Is blowing it in a flame. It's just like blowing it in a flame with um, any coal from a friction fire or anything along those lines. Good little tinder bundle. Got some dry grasses here. And what I'm going to do is create that bird nest just like that. And then how I go about doing this is real simple. I'm actually going to take. Uh, if you're if you're down to just a small little portion of the conch, you can just drop the whole thing in there. But if you want to preserve it and use a little bit more later on, it's real real simple. So what I'm going to do make sure she's nice and red, glowing hot. Perfect. I'm going to put this guy right in there. I'm going to pull out my blade. I'm just going to dislodge that little burning piece. Just like that. Don't want to lose it. All right, that's the conch that was burning on. I've got that one little piece on the inside. So it's just like any bowdry. You can already see it smoking. It's already smoking itself. There. Same fundamentals as if you were to drop a coal. Uh, from a bow drill or a hand drill inside of a tinder bundle.
voilà. Pretty much it in a nutshell. Once you got your your flame going, um, treat it like you would any other fire. Yeah, and still have my uh, my original aspen conch. That's the little piece I popped off right there. Stick it right between my Y fork. And away I'll go. So uh, yeah, that's it.